pull up these tweets, guys. Hold on one second. I need to get into my Twitter DM. Um, okay, so we are talking about this chef. This is Chef Way. All right, this is Chef Way. Uh, Chef Way is uh out of Harris County, which is here in Houston, Texas. And and I say here just because I'm in Texas, but uh, he he's from Houston, Texas, right? And so he had a previous uh, Twitter page, and on the Twitter page, he posted a lot of colorism uh, tweets, uh, you know, a lot of disrespectful tweets about women, um, about dark skinned women, uh, about black women, because you know he, I believe his fiance is even um, uh, of an Asian descent or some sort. But the crazy thing is, is like he's been called out for this stuff. Like he literally used the Internet to post this, this I'm sorry post. And y'all let me know. You see his tweet right there that says black bees make for good punching bags. Right. Then he goes on to say to those I've heard with my past tweets that have resurfaced, I am deeply sorry. There was a moment in my life where I was sick in more more ways than one. Cooking saved me. You have to watch a flawed man heal. I will continue to heal and learn. Thanks, uh, belo- uh thanks for being along this journey for this journey. So, my thing was this: like, did you did you ask the women in your life about this before you put this apology out? That's what I want to know. That's exactly what I want to know. Like, did you have a conversation with the women in your family before you did this? Like, and then he, like his mom commented and was like, oh, well, you know, it's just, it's like, I don't know why he's saying this. I don't know why he's doing this. Like, it's crazy, y'all. Hold on. I'm about to share my screen really quick. Hold on. Okay. Let me sign into my Twitter really quick, guys. Um, But like I said, I felt like this was a perfect time to discuss this since we were talking about the protection of black women. I felt like this was perfect. Okay, so give me just a second. Let me log in. And we're going to, oh, yeah. We're going to talk about it. Okay. Um, Thank y'all for being here. Y'all make sure y'all hit that like button. Make sure you hit that like button. I know this is a topic. Um, that we need to discuss. We need to discuss it. So give me a second, child. All right. I got it pulled up. So we're going to take a look. We're going to take a look. We're going to take a look. And from what I understand, um, shout out to, to my girl, to Fairy, but, um, it looks like that they had a press conference earlier um, in regards to this, to their bishop. But let's take a listen to the audio of the news clipping that was released. All right. Let's take a listen at the audio. Hold on one second. And let me share my screen or share the audio. I'm not sure why this is happening. I think this is in the wrong spot, but what? Okay, let's take a listen at this uh, at this audio. Lisa, the tweet. Yeah. Lisa, the tweets in question were posted under a now deleted account back in 2015 and 2016, and Chef Wei says he has changed his ways, but that has not stopped the outcry. Hey, what's up, guys? Let's make a modernist interpretation of Richard Duckin. On TikTok, oh, Wayman Wesley oh, II, oh. known as Chef Wei, cooks up bite-sized snippets of content for his 250,000 followers. But a series of resurfaced tweets are leaving a bad taste in the mouths of many. Under a now-deleted account with the handle Waymo the God, Wesley is accused of disparaging and insulting black women, saying negative things about dark skin and comparing them to trash. Twitter users reacting to the tweets, calling them colorist, anti-black, and misogynistic. Lisa, the tweets in question were posted under a now-deleted account. Sounds like a 40-second clip, news clipping, where he made the actual news. But give me just a second and I'm going to put up some of these tweets up here so you guys can see them or the thread. Hold on one second. Okay. 
Here we go. Now, some of these tweets that you guys will see is actually like a response, but these people are, you know, back in 2015, Twitter was just a different type of way. But hold on one second and let's pull this up. <clears throat> so this one I find interesting. Let me take this off the screen. Look at this. Look at this. Okay, so you see that there's a dark woman in the photo and there is a light woman in the photo. All right. And he says, shaking my head, the dark one messed up the pig. So his homeboy or whoever this is cropped out the, the, the black girl and put. Well, I don't, I don't know what race she may be. She looked like she may be black to me, but I don't know. Regardless of the case, this is like a colorism issue if she is still black. Because you're saying that you don't like the dark skinned woman, but you would be down with the light skinned woman. Look, and a preference is your preference, but when you get on the internet doing stuff like this, this is absolutely disrespectful and uncalled for. Just like this oxtail pasta, okay? Just disrespectful and uncalled for. Look at this mess. Disrespecting them oxtails like that. Who in their right mind want an oxtail pasta that look like that? Now, I, I already told y'all, don't knock it till you try it. But them old big, fat, ugly noodles, you know, it, it's, it's just too much. But let's take a look at some of the other uh, tweets. I just want y'all to see this mess, though. Like, why? Why? Wow. Wow. Sir, now you know good and well that don't look no good. And you need to go and and and, and do something about that. That that don't look no good. Um Okay, so somebody has said on January the 9th, I, I don't know if you are aware, but they are beating your A in the quoted tweets. Uh, you should take candor. So then he replies back with, thanks, I'm addressing it. Now, mind you, this is under his oxtail video. Uh, thank you. I am so tired of salmon bites, Alfredo pasta, fried uh, honey, Hennessy chicken recipes. This is creative, uh, new, and refreshing. And you told a lie, girl. But then he says, thank you so much. It means a lot. And again, this is coming from a black woman. This is coming from a black woman. So my whole thing was this. Like, honestly, he tried, he attempted to rebrand himself, right? Uh, after he attempted to rebrand himself, like now a lot of the, I'll pull it up here. Let me take this off really quick. But there's a lot of people who have pulled out of deals with him. Like he had deals with Walmart, um, if I'm not mistaken. So let me take a look here really quick. Um, let me see if I can pull up his, his thing. Hold on one second. Let me go back to this message. And we're going to pull up this statement that was made um, from one of the people that he had in him. Okay, here's, here it is right here. Okay, so this right here, and I don't know if me zooming in, if you guys are still going to be able to see it. I hate when you zoom in, but it doesn't zoom in on the photo. Anyway, okay, so it says that, um, okay, so it has recently been brought to our attention that a former uh, content partner has engaged in behavior that does not align with, um, I think that's uh, Anna, 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 Anna's values. We do not approve of these actions, and we are disheartened to learn of this situation. As a result, we have completely cut ties with this person as we strive to only work with partners who share our core values and help move the social uh the social needle needle towards justice and equality 
goes on to say that we hope our former partner has some moments of deep, 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 deep. deep. <laughs> it's not funny, but my thing is this. Um, you play too much. <laughs> It's not funny, but my thing is this, like, you can't expect for these people to literally be in, want to continue to have a operation with you or want to continue to do business with you. And this is how you choose to carry yourself on the Internet. Like the Internet is a big deal. And the first thing that they look at is how you are on your social media as far as marketing needs. You know what I mean? Like marketing needs are super, super important. And when you're not doing that. I mean, anyway, um, we hope that our former partner has some moments of, uh, hold on, this is ignorant. Y'all see how this look on the screen? Hold on. Okay, let's get back to the original size. There we go. Now, we hope our former partner has uh, some moments of deep uh, introspection uh, and makes the necessary strides to become an anti-racist <laughs> ally. Hate has no home at Ovana. Am I saying that right? And 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 over and over. My bad. And we can't see it. We y'all can't see it. It's real, real little. It looked big to you, but not to us. Okay, okay. Yeah, it's small to me, too. Um, and they are committed to listen to voices and deeply value diversity. So basically, again, this was someone, one of the partners, pulling away. They were absolutely pulling away, which is the best thing to do, because you don't want your brand tied up with any colorist, racist, however you see it. This right here was extremely, extremely, extremely disrespectful to do. You literally got on your platform. You used your platform and you honestly thought that it wasn't. You thought rebranding yourself wasn't going to allow this stuff to come back up. And unfortunately for you, sir, that's not true. All right. It just ain't it. Now, today. Wait a minute. Oh, I clicked on the wrong picture. Y'all going to follow me on Twitter if you ain't following me on the Twitter. Okay, so today there was a press conference that was held at 12 noon today. All right. And uh, this was posted one yesterday. Well, actually, this was posted today. So I don't know why it says tomorrow's location. Mm, not, I'm not really sure. But it says that we demand. We demand for this man, pretty much. Like, we got to stick up for our black women. So I was here for the press conference. I haven't seen. I was trying to see if there was anything in the comment section. Now, I see here that there is a petition. There is a petition here, okay? There is a petition. And here's what I'm going to do. We about to read it and I'm about to sign it right here while I'm on this live with y'all. Okay. So there is a petition. All right. And let's get to it. Before rebranding himself, Prosecutor Wayman Wesley, a.k.a. Chef Way, went by the name of Waymo the God on Twitter. Over the span of several years, according to multiple Twitter users whom were black women, Waymo, the God, racially harassed and belittled them via retweets, direct messages, and posts. Some comments, posts, and retweets include black bees make good for punching bags, uh, real beauty versus weave and lies, real beauty shows a white woman, um, woman while weave and lies show a black woman, okay? She's too black caption. Um, see no difference caption about a, a photo of a black woman near another photo of landfill trash. And he was saying that there's no difference between the two calling the lady trash. All right. 
calling that lady trash. Now, multiple Twitter users whom were black women have released detailed descriptions of their unwanted racial harassment by now prosecutor Wayman Wesley. Some stories indicate thoughts of uh, unaliving and depression. Wesley, uh, Wesley, a.k.a. Way, has uh, released a statement apologizing. However, the apology was lackluster, to say the least. Unspecific to the people he terrorized and harmed, which are black women. And, and now insult their intelligence. Cooking did not save him. <laughs> it opened the door to brand deals that came with financial prosperity the, and the expectations that he would respect everyone. However, Chef Way, a.k.a. Wayman Wesley's history of domestic terrorism towards black women cannot be ignored or silenced. Uh, Kim Og, the DA for Harris County, indicated in a statement that she supports Wesley. Wow. Wow. OGG, OGG said, uh, Og or whatever, um, said that I believe in second chances. Nobody, including black men with a history of Wesley's, should be allowed to practice law in a uh, should be able to practice law while having a history of domestic terrorism towards a specific group with a specific group, which was black women. OK, so again, this is a petition and it, of course, goes in um, just some of the comments here that I find to be completely interesting is. This person is a threat to black women. I do not believe he can be fair and unbiased to a group of women he clearly hates. Uh, it goes on to say that he has uh, he has a very big disdain for black women. He's a he is biased and, and hateful. He needs to be removed um, from his position as a prosecutor. Some say colorism is a big problem in the black community, men and women. Um. Some people go on to say color of race, black men um, are never held accountable and they need to be uh, filth like this. Uh, uh, speaking ill of black women deserves a discard of life. So, child, you know, some people have their own uh, feelings, but I'm going to put this on the screen and um, I'm signing this in petition, child. So hold on one second. And I want you guys to see where you can go sign it at. Um, and let me drop the link in the comment section. All right, there's the link in the comment section where you uh, can go sign the petition if you would like to sign the petition. I think, uh, so it has 2,304 signatures thus far. People are signing away. They are signing, signing away. So please go on there and sign that petition, especially. And honestly, y'all, all you have to do is type in hashtag Chef Way and everything that has to do with him, whether it's on YouTube, whether it is on um, uh, Twitter. Twitter is the best place. Literally put in hashtag Chef Way. You will see everything in regards to this. I'm glad that things are being done and taken to the next step. He needs to be, he needs to be far from his position. Uh, so it says Wayman D. Wesley the second. Um, he is eligible to practice in Texas. Um, and this is Harris County District Attorney's Office, and it has the information to the district attorney's office. And I'm pretty sure people have been reaching out like nonstop. So um guys please 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 like this goes on with the conversation of protecting our black women because here we are again where you are literally going on a platform and like almost torturing these women and it's just it's super super uncalled for and like i said i have to speak on it and we going we going to keep an eye on this um for the miss mr west all right um, so I wanted you all to see 
uh, that. And I really want to know what you guys think. Like, you know, there are people who, you know, are pretty much saying that his preference is his preference. But again, this is done with ill intent. This is done in a way to harm our black women. And, you know, we got, we got to speak on it. S speak on it. You know what I'm saying? So um, that's that on that. Now, I want to end this with saying this. Um, there is, you guys know that there was a story that I did, and the story was on uh, Chef Gotti, okay? Uh, Chef Gotti was the one who allegedly, you know, touched on his own children, right? Um, Gerald did an interview with his oldest daughter who stated that, you know, he had started doing this to her when she was eight years old. And so um, he has not been arrested, okay? I did do a video where I showed you guys that there was a warrant out for his arrest, and I believe the warrant, if I'm not mistaken, I think the warrant went out on December the 21st or December the 22nd. I'm trying to remember it from my, from my memory. It was one of those dates. But unfortunately, they have not arrested him. I don't know if, like, dude can't be hiding out like that. Like, y'all need to arrest that man. That man is a creep. And the charges that he's being charged are, are charges to play with. One of them is, uh, I believe, incest or having sexual relations with the child or something like that. And that is punishable up to 60 years in federal prison. And then he has two counts up under that as well. So, like, he's been charged for three different charges. And I just want to know where he at. Where you at, Chef God? Uh, go turn yourself in, man. At this point, like, please go turn yourself in because this this is absolutely ridiculous. Y'all, y'all just do crazy stuff and, and want to stay out on grace, just like the Cabo Six. I just want to be out on grace, and I, I I don't I don't like that. I don't like it. Um, sign. Okay, Kimmy wasn't playing no game. Kimmy said, I'm supposed to sign this thing. I know that's right. Sign it, baby. Sign it. Sign it. Okay, y'all. So, again, I don't want to make this too, too long. But, again, we did just discuss. Uh, chef. One thing, chef. Wait. Absolutely. Go ahead. I just want to say this right here shows how black women need to get this stuff together and come together and band together for one another because why is it that we are so quick to jump behind a black man just because he's black? Although he's disparaging the women that look just like you, but because he's a black man, he gets to pass and our feelings get to keep, keep being trampled on and looked over and not cared about because it's a black man saying it. And you know, we don't want to keep the black man down because the man got his foot on his neck already. He was born with two strikes against him. He's black and he's a man. I'm tired of hearing that. What about the strikes that were put on us as women? What about all, what about all the things that we have to go through because we are women and then the extra that we go through because we are black women? It's time to stop banding together for everybody else and band together for us. It's time to choose us. When will we choose us? When it's too late? No. We have to give the kids that are coming up under us something to give their next generation so they can give their next generation something. World, The world it will not stop because we don't give a fuck. The world will continue and will get worse and will never get better because we did not give a fuck enough to want to do something to change it. And until we do that, we can't keep fucking complaining because work Cause God damn it, crying without the work is in vain. It ain't gonna work. So stop saying that we, we want something to change. We want this to change. Let's be the change that we wanna see. Cause that's only how we gonna get it. I agree. I agree wholeheartedly. Uh, I'm gonna drop the link again for the petition guys. There it is right there. There's a shorter link right there for you guys. Uh, and I do know my Bible. I just got caught up in my words. <laughs> it's all good it's Faith all good without work is dead that's what it is. that's facts that's facts that is facts well thank you uh simply elegant one and kimmy for going ahead and signing that and just simply thank you guys for signing that i just signed uh as well 
All right. And that's why I was able to get that short link. So you guys go sign that petition so that we can get a uh, chef way uh sign out know. the kitchen. I mean, he need to get up out the kitchen and he sure need to be getting up out for that out of the DA's office, but he need to get up out that kitchen making them oxtails like that. I mean, that's how we girl. That right there was a mess. That's that's a mess. But anyway, like as a dark skinned woman, would you want him cooking for you in the kitchen? You don't know what he's doing. You can't see him. He you at the party enjoying yourself, talking to your guests, and he in your kitchen cooking for you. Yeah, he would don't he don't like that? it. He hates you. Exactly. Would you would you really want to eat that? Exactly. And that's my thing. Like, and you see a lot of people uh capping for people like this unfortunately y'all i mean it's 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 out there it's out there and it's really sad to say the least uh because there are people who are like well you know he got a purpose like girl if, boy if you don't get out of here get out of my face with that you know what i'm saying so again guys thank you so much drop down in the comment section let me get, know what you think about this guys especially if you're watching the playback let me know how you feel about this. And to those of you that will sign the petition, it will be in the description box of this actual video. All right.